on my broad acres, there's just not enough cattle, there's not enough water infrastructure, and so what's the next way I can introduce that biology? And it's through the extractor and through the extracts, whether that be compost, whether that be worm castings, whether that be whatever that, that medium is, I've got the equipment that we can introduce that. I can do it with, at the time of seeding, which we, you know, we all know, or I guess I believe, that the seed signals all of that biology to wake up and get going and, and begin that process of nutrient cycling. Uh, my agronomist has the bio extractor. In fact, we run two of them. And he has the, the worm castings that we're using for our extract. He shows up with his trailer, wheels the two machines out. Um, I have 7,000 gallons of water there waiting for him. He runs the extract out into totes. And, you know, this is our first year. Uh, we're running three drills. And so I deliver 4,000, split 4,000 gallons a day through three drills. We try not to let any of that sit overnight in that once we've introduced the food, the humix and the sugars and everything to the, to the biology, things get very lively overnight. And then that's injected uh, either with the seed or near within an inch of the seed uh, in our seeding program. I love the way my agronomist explained it to me, the humic and the sugar, basically, he likens it to the lunchbox for the biology. It's, that's enough to keep them happy until that seed signals everybody to tell them to get going. So, your next question should be, do you think it's working? Well, <laughs> for me to get my dad to call me up and go, but I don't know what you're doing, but your color of your wheat looks pretty good. There must be something different there. Who's to say it's just not the molasses and the humic that I put down? It's obvious, the rhizosheath around my roots, I mean, the cows got out the other day, and normally when they, on something that's just a sprout out of the ground, they would have pulled it out of the ground, and I, I got down on my hands and knees. They weren't able to pull it out. Well, that, that root is already huge. It's gotta be twofold. We've got the synthetic out of there and the biology working.